INEB is the international network of engaged Buddhists. I set this up about 30 years ago because I find that Buddhism in most countries linked with naturalism. So a young man called Thich Nhat Hanh, some you may have heard of him, and he called that you be very engaged, not to really sit down meditation. Meditation is good. Be peaceful, but you must bring peace into the society. So he called the word engaged Buddhism. I felt that better to call it socially engaged Buddhism. Otherwise, people think that these Buddhists will not get married or they engage. <laughs> grassroots oriented. It's not oriented towards the, the prestigious or to, towards the powerful. It's oriented to bringing together Buddhists from around the world. And the second thing is it's completely non-sectarian. It works with Mahayana Buddhists, with Theravada Buddhists, with Tibetan Buddhists, and with Ambedkar Buddhists in India. Those are the four main traditions. Plus, it welcomes Christians and Muslims and Jews and Hindus and people from different faiths. Network of the Buddhist activists around the world come together as a platform for us to share happiness and also to bring also, uh, you know, suffering in terms of the individual, social, environmental suffering come together and see what we can do together to go beyond that suffering. At the Wongsinit Ashram, I am leading a course called English for Engaged Social Service. So I've been helping INEB and gather its own resources, which includes very experienced alternative educators, uh, trainers in Thailand and Myanmar and other countries, as well as all the members of the, of the Grassroots Network, which is a very, very impressive group. Our intention was to bring together people who had some sort of social consciousness and some sort of sense that personal change was also a part of world, world change. We have people from Myanmar, we have uh, people from Sri Lanka, from Laos, from Thailand as well, and from South Korea. All of these people have some sort of experience in either leading community organizing work or peace and conflict resolution studies. For people who are concerned about the state of the world in their communities, we're saying come and learn English with us and have a chance to reflect on your life and reflect on how leaders can support each other. What's the role of meditation? What's the role of, of learning to listen well to others? What is the impact of these major changes taking place in the world? Oh.